welcome back to the channel guys hope everybody's been having a good start to december with all your christmas shopping and everything and hope nobody's sick like i am right now i'm hoping i don't got the flu fingers crossed but um anyways i did a little poll on my instagram the other day asking you guys um what video you would want to see first and pretty much the smarter topic got picked and it was between a watch update on my day date or a review on basically like my fall winter coats that i've been rotating in and out and what i think is like kind of essential in your winter wardrobe so obviously the winter wardrobe got chosen first which is better i think because we're in december it's only gonna get colder from here until we get into what I wish is the warmer times, which will be far from now. But anyways, I'm going to show you a couple of my jacket choices that I've been using. Um, I think I have in my big, my big old bag. I brought a couple coats so I could show you guys what I've been using. Um, I think it's maybe, let's see, check this out. I think I got one, two, three, four. I got five coats to show you guys. Pretty much touching on each possible thing. So if you're just trying to chill, I got a coat for that that I've been using. If you're trying to go out and look a little bit dressy, I got a coat for that. Something luxurious. I'm going to talk about price points. I also got something that's a little bit more sporty. And then I also have something that is a little bit more sleek and rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna jump into that right now. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna just take one more sip of my piping hot tea. Hopefully it suits my throat a little bit. So it sounds so raspy on camera right now. Oh, and if you guys like the new setup, uh, let me know in the, dis in the comment box below because Amber hooked me up with one of my Christmas gifts early and she got me the ring light, so the lighting is about to be 10 times better on all the videos starting now, early. Um, all right, so let's jump into it. So, let's start with this guy. And I'm gonna do fit, fit little clips at the end of the video, kind of showing you guys how each jacket looks. But the first jacket that I've been using that I got about, I think I got it this time last year actually. So it's my Montclair Black Label. I'll show you guys that label. It's Montclair Black Label. Uh, Moto, it's like a biker style quilted uh, down jacket. Um, this is the only like down jacket that I have. I don't have anything else, even though I did see this Dries Van Noten one that I'm looking at. Um, but this is pretty much what I use if I'm going to work, if I'm going to the gym really quick, and I just want to throw something on that's not super bulky, but it's going to keep me warm. Um, out here in New York, it has gotten pretty cold. It's not like Canada or anything. I know a lot of the viewers are from Canada. And you guys are used to like super, super cold weather. So you probably wear the Canada Goose coats and all that. And I don't have a problem with Canada Gooses, but most of them are kind of bulky. And so, same thing with Montclair, but this, the reason why I was so drawn to this jacket was because one, it's super warm. It has a lot of cool detailing. So kind of looks like the cafe biker jackets that I like a lot. It has the quilted detailing. A lot of zippers all over it so it's easy to carry a lot of stuff on it and it's just pretty thin and lightweight so for winter time I don't always feel like always having on a heavy a super heavy coat and I just want to be out be warm and look stylish and I feel like this does everything I need and also stays within like my my style thing so highly recommend this coat um, or jacket, but retail was I think 1400 and I think this model is not available anymore. I know that Montclair Black Label did a new model and I think it has slightly different zipper variations on it. But yeah, definitely recommend this jacket if you guys are looking for a sportier 
sleek, light, but warm jacket to just kind of run around town. That's gonna be my first jacket that I've been using. And like I said, I'm gonna show you guys clips at the end of the video, or maybe I'll just put them in like during while I'm talking so you guys can kind of just see the fit and how it kind of goes. So this is jacket number one. It'd be my Montclair Moto jacket. All right, so another jacket if I'm just trying to chill, if I'm trying to just go hang out, go out with Amber on the weekend. Sometimes I go to work in this on not so cold days and I kind of just layer it. Did a video on this. It's my new Hedy Slimane Celine Teddy jacket. So not gonna lie, this thing is not warm at all, but obviously layered with a hoodie, you're gonna get that warmth, you're gonna get that, I think it looks cool, you know. This is more so like maybe late September, October, this is better for that time of year. Um, I got it a couple weeks ago. Um, November was really cold out here, so wasn't really that practical to use this. Like, like I said, layered up. It's a great jacket, looks great, but for warmth, not so much. Maybe just to go get coffee, if I'm in and out of my car, layered up 100% right now during this time of year, but this would be one of the jackets that I've been using. Um, I did a video on it. I'll link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, like I said in the video, I paid way less than retail is in the States. My friend in Paris actually got me it, sent them the money, hooked it up, and sent it back. So definitely the Celine Teddy jacket is one of my favorites that I've been wearing. Just not really warm. So keep that in mind if you guys like this jacket and want to get it. I'm put that down there. All right. So let's see. What else do I got? Yeah, we can go with this one. All right. So I'm gonna start getting into what I think is better price points as far as jackets go. As far as the jackets that I've been wearing and excuse me, and brought with me. So another jacket I did a video on would be my collaboration jacket with the jacket maker. So you guys tag it there. I saw it before. Boom. So this is my collaboration jacket with the jacket maker. I hope everything is coming up clear on this video. Anyways, um, the good thing about this leather jacket is most leather jackets are lambskin and it's kind of thin and you'll freeze literally like in 30 degree weather with lambskin. You're not staying warm. This is a very heavy but comfortable um, calfskin leather jacket. So. You can either, I've been good, like I've been wearing this Safe Khaki Thermal that I picked up a couple months ago. I'll wear that underneath this leather jacket and I'll be warm and toasty all day. I've thrown on one of my Balmain hoodies or anything underneath this jacket and I've been straight for the whole day. And I've just wore it plain. Because the leather is so thick, I'm staying warm. Um, and I don't know, like even in my Saint Laurent leather jackets, um, the L17 that I still have, it's kind of like comparable to this, like the leather weight. So I feel like it's kind of the same warmthness um, in this, in my collaboration jacket. So that's definitely something that I've been wearing. If you guys want to get it, you still can purchase it on the jacket maker. I'll also link it in the description below and provide clips of me wearing it with my one outfit that I brought today because I didn't pack anything else in this bag. But I'll show you guys how literally all the jackets that I brought will work with the same outfit. Maybe I'll peel this thermal off so you can see with just a t-shirt. But shop my jacket. Also use coupon code Ariel25. I think that's the coupon code. I should know this, but yeah, Ariel25. It'll also be in the description box below. And fit clips are gonna be in the video. So that would be the third jacket that I've been using. Now, this is like my biggest, one of my, I'm not gonna say my biggest come up. This is like one of the best come ups I've had. So I do a lot of thrifting. A lot of people might not think that. Um, let me just take a quick little sip. Okay. 
So I do a lot of thrifting. I have a lot of places that are my gems. There's this thrift shop that I go to and it's in a nice area and that's kind of a tip for people who are new to thrifting and blah blah blah. Kind of find a nice area that has, you know, it's kind of wealth. Cause then there's gonna be better stuff that shows up in thrift shops around there. That's a little, it's a little gem for you guys. So anyways, I go to this spot, I try to go there maybe once a month, just to kind of see if they got anything cool. So last year I went and I guess that they got some stuff in and I found, this is a roughly, roughly $4,000 coat. So I was digging through a bunch of shit and I ended up finding this beautiful cashmere Calvin Klein collection dress coat and it's been one of my favorite staple pieces in my wardrobe since and I didn't have to tailor it it was literally like the best the it was my size it was it's in like it's a little it's a little wrinkled right now because it was folded in my bag but if you guys can see it's like a midnight blue I'll hold it up like this it has a beautiful collar like when you pop it it's like a really rich blue over here but you guys can check check the pricing and just see how much calvin klein collection coats not raft this is i'm talking about this would be a coat from right before when raft started at calvin klein and it's not Calvin Klein that you guys will find at Macy's. And that's not a knock to that Calvin Klein, but do some research, see what Calvin Klein collection is. It's the runaway stuff. So I found this coat in the thrift shop for $5. So it's like literally one of the biggest, yeah, there you go. It's one of the biggest come ups that I've found in the thrift shop, Calvin Klein collection. And it's just such a rich, beautiful coat and in perf near perfect condition you know you go to the thrift shop you you could find some stuff that's brand new that somebody didn't really wear it or just had it um you might you most 90 98 percent of the time 99 percent of the time you're gonna find stuff that's used it's used clothing but listen don't be skeeved out go in there look for stuff you will find come ups i'm gonna do uh the on body stuff so you could actually see like the the depth and how like beautiful and stuff it looks on i have a picture of it on instagram um but you guys will see the clips so four thousand dollar leather, uh, leather coat four thousand dollar cashmere coat for five dollars so start thrifting but this is definitely one of the coats that i've been using this winter um yeah i gotta tell you tell you more about it it's warm because it's cashmere um and it's a good weight cashmere. And also, this is something that I would wear if me and Amber were going to dinner, if I'm stepping out to something a little bit more formal. Um, the picture that I have on my Instagram, I'm wearing it with, like I, I wear things dressed down and dressed up. So you could literally throw this on over a t-shirt, you could throw this on over a dress shirt. So Calvin Klein collection, cashmere coat, definitely recommend it. And now, oh, there's my coat. Let me go grab it. My last coat is a coat that I've actually, it's like super sentimental to me. And it means a lot. Is what I think everybody should have in their closet just because, one, you'll have it forever. And two, it's warm as hell. And you look, you're, you're always going to look super stylish. Um, my mom actually got me this my first year of high school so i've had this coat for this high school college i've had this coat for over definitely over 12 years it's, it's longer than that but definitely over 12 years so this is my shearling it's it is an expensive shearling it's a grigio perla um yeah and it's reversible so you guys have seen most of you guys have seen the instagram po post that i did um i'll put the picture here so you guys can kind of see it if you haven't seen it already but it's reversible 
super warm. Shearlings of good quality, like, I don't really know of a cheap shearling, but off the top of my head, maybe you're gonna, like, for a cheap, cheap shearling, the cheap and not cheap quality, this price point wise, you could look at shot. Let me hold it up. I'm sorry, I'm not holding it up so you guys can see it. This is my shearling. Had this for forever. This literally not one winter has gone by that I don't wear this the whole time. It is one of my favorite, favorite coats in my collection. Go up close so you can see. I love this coat. You could wear it on this side, which is how some of you guys have seen me wear it. The fur out. It's a teddy coat. All right, so I've had this coat Put it down for a second. So I've had this coat for over 12 years. You would not be able to tell. Like it has obvious like, like the crease marks in the sleeve from me wearing it. But for 12, for over 12 years, this coat has held me down. Looks beautiful, looks sleek, keeps me warm. And it's literally an investment piece. So if you guys want a shearling, invest the money. Find one that fits you um, slim fitting, unless you want an oversized look probably way even way warmer as with an oversized shearling but yeah like I said my mom got me this a long time ago it's not going anywhere literally one of my favorite coats in my whole closet and you could wear this with sweatpants you could wear this with jeans you could wear this with a suit underneath it it's a shearling there's nothing that tops that like yeah you can go get like some crazy fur but like I don't know about you guys, but I'm super allergic to certain furs also, even like just having the fur trim collars on certain coats and shearling doesn't make me break out or make me itch or anything like that. So that's why I highly recommend shearling and it's just, I don't know, I just feel like it's like one of the best coats that you could have in your collection. So definitely recommend shearlings. Um, like I was saying before, one that's on the cheaper end price point wise, but still the quality is amazing is shop. Shot has really excellent shearling jackets that I know of. Um, then obviously you can go steps higher than that. Saint Laurent, Grigio Pearl. Or you can go the Celine one. The Celine one's like crazy. I don't know. I'd love it. I'm just I'm not in the position to spend 10k on a shearling right now, even though I'd love to. But there's tons of brands you guys could find, um, or I could recommend if you DM me. I know tons of them. Rick Owens is a six shearling also. Um, yeah, those are those are right now, like I have tons of other jackets that sometimes I'll break out, but these are definitely the most essential ones that I've been rotating. Um, so let's jump into on-body clips of me wearing these jackets. Um, I'm gonna be wearing it with either the Safe Khaki t-shirt that I have underneath or the Safe Khaki Thermal black frame jeans and my Rick Owens boots that also have been on rotate on heavy rotation this like the start of the winter so let's jump into that now
that sums up the video. Um, let me know which jacket you like the most. Let me know what jackets you guys are wearing. Uh, drop a comment in the little comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. We are going to break a thousand before the end of the end of the new year. Start of the new year. What a fail. Hit that subscribe button. Once we hit a K, I'm gonna do a luxury giveaway. I don't know what I'm gonna give away yet, but you guys know I got good taste. So I will hook somebody up with something really good. Um, so yeah, check me out in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Later guys.